Hi everybody, this is Robbie from Southern California. And today I'm going to talk about the hummingbirds that live in our gardens and all around our house. As you probably don't know, it wasn't always this way. All I had was one single hummingbird living in the trees, flying around, and that's how it all started. So I decided to put out a hummingbird feeder in the garden and he would come and he would feed. And he enjoyed his feeder so much that I decided to add a couple more feeders. But before I knew it, the one hummingbird turned into two. So now I was putting out a feeder and cleaning it every few days for the one hummingbird. But other hummingbirds started to fly around, saw the feeder, and yes, within a year or two, we had so many hummingbirds here. They would come in and they would feed. They were migrating through and we did have a lot of hummingbirds. They weren't just feeding on the feeders. They were feeding about the yard and all the different flowers that grow here, be it my vegetable garden, my moringa tree. We have aloe vera growing and they were feeding from that. We even have geraniums on the property and I was surprised that they picked through that too. So it was a matter of flowers and the feeders that kept them here. Then I noticed they started taking baths in the garden. They were washing themselves on my collard leaves. And I thought, this is so fun. And then I would be hosing the property and they would be flying about taking baths that way. So I decided it was time to get a fountain. So I found this odd fountain at the thrift store for like $15 with a bowl. And sure enough, they loved it so much that different species would bathe together on the bowl and everybody seemed to be really happy. It was so much fun to see all these hummingbirds coming in just to take a bath and enjoy the garden. So I figured, you know what, it was time to get another one. And I found another one at the thrift store. These are electric though. Set it up and they started coming more and more. I think the water brought in a lot of hummingbirds as well. And they would bathe all day, especially in the hot summer. But they bathe a lot. They love their water. Remember, they get dirty going around the flowers. And then I started making my own solar fountains. And they would come and bathe on that. And I got fancier and fancier. And just there's such a joy. I just kept trying to think of things. On top of that, different feeders too. So I was have water features and feeders for them all around the property. And yes, I ended up cutting a hole in my window in the kitchen above my sink so I could swing the feeder in and change the feeder so I could have hummingbirds in my face as I was making meals and cooking and working in the kitchen. Right there working all day, putting out hummingbird food and mixing and they'd wait for me right there look how close right in my face a matter of a couple feet to my amazement i had a hummingbird come build a nest right on the hook she had feeders out on the deck but she wanted to build that nest on that hook and you could see she didn't have to go far to eat she had her home her feeder and she could just sit on her nest and that was it i mean she had it made So she ended up nesting there three nests she had. She raised multiple babies there. It was amazing. I couldn't believe it. It was the cutest thing in the world to watch right out my kitchen window. When she was done that first year, I did cover it with plastic. You can see it here. I was hoping that she would come back and if nobody bothered it, maybe she would nest. And you know what? She did. The following year, I had uncovered it. She built and fixed up that nest and raised another three nests there right out the window. Just so you know, when the babies got big enough, I didn't fill that feeder. That's why I ended up with so many feeders on my kitchen window. I did fill it while she was sitting and when the babies were small, but once the babies got big enough, their eyes were open, I felt it was safer not to fill her feeder and give her another one. So there she nested for two years in a row right there raising the babies on the hibiscus plants there as they left the nest and then she would make another nest and nest again yes those babies like keeping their nest clean so so when they the poop they made sure their nest was clean and they would lift their little tails and poop on the window but you know what no big deal it was easy to brush off and clean when they were done so then soon 
They were on their own in the hibiscus plants, and mom stayed around, of course, feeding the babies until they were on their own. And it was so much fun to watch her raise all her babies out the window. But it, it was this year she did something very different that I have never heard of. She, yes, she's got two babies here, but that's not the end of the story. She came back this year, and you can see her nest. She uses shade cloth. She built a nest on the peak of the garage, which is right around the corner from where the hummingbird feeders are. Now, as soon as the babies were on their own enough where they didn't have to be sat on but still in the nest, she surprised us. She went down that cable line, you'll see in a second, and she built another nest. She now had two nests on the side of the garage. Where she, and you can see how close she was. I'm walking back and forth. Gary and I are going back and forth all day. And she took care of the two babies from the top nest, hatched those eggs right there on the corner of the garage. I think Kitty, our Yorkie, was surprised too. And she raised more babies there. Now, if you think she was done, she wasn't. As soon as that baby was on its own, she went and built another nest on the top of the garage. And when that was done, she came onto the deck and built another nest. This is nest number four for her. She just finished. She had two babies there. They're now in the bushes on their own. She finished four nests this year. As you can see, I feed a lot of hummingbirds right out my kitchen window all day. This has been my life. I do a video, they're right out the window. If the screen is open, they want to come in, so I have to keep the screen closed. If we're doing videos outside, yeah, they get in the way of Gary and they get in the way of me. They buzz around my head, sometimes scaring me. I think it's a bumblebee in my ear. I love going and checking out new hummingbird feeders and letting you know what I think about them. And of course, I really enjoy making a lot of my own hummingbird feeders. It's so much fun. The hummingbirds seem to enjoy it. I think they wait to see what I'm going to bring out next. I like painting up my little dots and making hummingbird feeders out of that because you can just display them in so many beautiful ways and they know them so well. I can sit those dots anywhere and they will look for them and come feed out of them. They'll come and check all of them out. I don't know if they think there's something different, but it's really a lot of fun and I enjoy them so much and I'm so blessed to have them here. They love their dots. I love doing this for them. We buy so much sugar. We now have to buy it in 25 pound sacks. No joke, but you know what? It's worth it. It is really, really worth it. The window is full now. We got even the Orioles come in. But just enjoying them every day, making hummingbird feeders, buying hummingbird feeders. And then our little walker, he shows up once in a while. He is so cute. He literally walks. He's the only one that will walk around the feeders. Well, and I hope you enjoyed my story on how we ended up with thousands of hummingbirds here on our property. We have far more in the winter than we do in the summer because they go up north and they have their nests, but they come back, they winter here, and we are putting out gallons and gallons a day. With that, have a wonderful day. It's time for me to go fill the feeders and clean them out. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.